Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cloud Solutions Academy. I am Naveen Balani. First of all, I like to thank you all for subscribing to this channel. And if you have any questions and comments, please feel free to reach out to us via the comment section. So let's get started with another episode. In this episode, uh, we would install Google Anthos Config Management and uh, deploy a sample application to demonstrate the ECM functionality. So this video assumes you already have an Anthos cluster installed on your required environment. If not, please follow episode 6 lab where we have installed Anthos clusters on bare metal. So before we start installation, let's verify the prerequisite. So log into Anthos dashboard and click on view to view the cluster details. As you see, I have an Antos cluster, BM demo cluster, which I had installed as part of episode 6. Now click on BM demo cluster and click on more details to view the cluster configuration in GKE console. Click on workloads and verify if all the deployments are in green. This basically implies all the deployments and workloads are running. Next click on services and ingress and verify if all the services are running. So this confirms our Anthos cluster is successfully installed and we are good to go for the next steps. As a next step click on config management menu and click setup. Click on enable config management to enable Anthos config management on our project. So all eligible Anthos clusters would be enabled for ACM. Wait for some time and the required ACM components namely config sync, config connector, policy controller and hierarchy controller would be installed on the BM demo cluster. So in episode 2 we had gone through the architecture for ACM and its various components. So kindly refer to episode 2 if you need to refresh the details. To verify if ACM is installed, click on clusters, select BM demo cluster, click on manage features and you should see the config management option available. Click on detail and you would have the option to disable config management. Next go back to Anthos config management console and you should see the BM demo cluster being listed. Next, select the BM demo cluster and click configure. In this step, we basically create the config sync configuration by providing read only access to our Cloud Solution Academy Git repository where all the configurations are stored so the config sync component can read the configs and apply them to our cluster. If you require credentials to access the repository, you can specify it during the configuration. Since our repository is publicly available, we would skip providing the credentials. So before we sync the repository, uh, let's look at the content of the repository. Navigate to Git repository of Cloud Solutions Academy. The config repository is basically a structured repository. It consists of cluster, namespace and system directory. In episode 2, if you recollect, we had gone through the ACM configuration structure and what each of these folders signify. To recap, the cluster contained configurations which are meant to be applied to clusters. The namespace directory contains namespaces that needs to be created and managed by ACM. And the system directory contained repository and version details. So kindly refer to episode 2 if you need any more details. So let's look at the content. Click on cluster folder. We have one configuration file, security policy YAML, which is basically a pod security policy, which disallows running of privileged containers for security purposes. Next, click on namespaces. Under namespaces, we have a compliance folder which contains namespace.yaml file 
which defines a compliance namespace. This namespace can be used for any compliance purposes. For instance, creating role bindings and assigning required roles to users to inspect the cluster and its configuration. The namespaces would be automatically created once the repository is synced by the Anthos config sync controller. The system directory contains the mandated uh, repo.yaml file containing repository version and details. Next, let's go back to the ACM console and add this repository in ACM configuration. So in the authentication, select none as our repository doesn't require any credentials for read access. Click configure. The version of ACM is by default uh, selected as the latest version. Click enable config sync and add the required details. In the URL field provide the path to the Cloud Solutions Academy repo as shown. In the branch provide name as main. We have only one branch but if you have multiple branches you can provide the branch name out here. For the source format select hierarchy as we are using a structured repository format. Click done. So it will take a couple of minutes to sync the repository and create the required Kubernetes objects in the BM demo cluster. As you see, the BM demo cluster has status as synced, denoting a successful pull from our Git repository and applying the configurations to our cluster. If you get an error during synchronization, you can inspect the logs by connecting to the BM demo cluster and executing the kubectl log command for the config management system component as shown. For command references, please refer to the Cloud Solutions Academy website. The details are provided in the video description. As you see, in our case, all logs are clean as the synchronization was successful. There is another optional tool called Nomos, which you can use to debug problems with the uh, config component and check the syntax of configuration before you commit the changes to your repository. To download Nomos for Linux, run the following command as shown and make it executable. To check the synchronization status, run Nomos status and you should see the repository and latest sync version. Next, let's see the namespace managed by config sync component by executing the kubectl command as shown. You should see the compliance namespace being listed. Next, let's try to delete the namespace and you should receive an error message as shown. The admission webhook component that is installed as part of ACM basically ensures you can't modify the manage object directly. So this basically ensures your cluster is always in sync with the desired configuration. Now let's try to run a privilege container by running the command as shown. As mentioned earlier, you can copy the command from the Cloud Solutions Academy website. Now as we disallow privilege containers to run, you should get a forbidden error. So this basically verifies our policy was created properly by the config sync component and it's effective. So this concludes the basic demonstration of ACM capabilities. In an upcoming video, we will build out an end-to-end -end application covering all aspects of Anthos platform where we would cover complex ACM scenarios in detail. So this concludes our session. Hope you found the information useful and please do subscribe to the channel to receive regular updates. Till then, have a great week and thank you for watching.